Hey everyone, in today's video I am going to show you fluid pouring and today I am using Liquitex Basics and some Camel Acrylics. I have mixed them with pouring medium and now I am adding a little bit of silicone oil. Make sure you add only 2-3 to three drops of silicone oil. Remember that this totally depends on the number of cells you want to create. If you want really big cells, then you add more. But when you add silicone oil, the end result of the painting will have a lot of oil on top of it once it dries. So here I'm just swirling it once around so the silicone doesn't just remain on top and gets mixed a little. You mix this really well if you want multiple tiny cells. Now I'm adding the paint one by one, each color at a time. And this is totally your choice. You can add it however in whichever sequence that you want. I'm just playing around. This is actually a pouring medium I bought from a local art supply store. It is locally made by them and not of any known brand. So I'm adding the paint one into the other, just adding it in the middle. Again, you can experiment with this, try different ways different techniques see I just added it with a swirl I wanted it to mix up the whole thing so just play around with it with different combinations choose whatever colors that you want this was just an experiment I wanted to try the local pouring medium I find Liquitex pouring medium to be a little pricey. It is really good but pricey. This one was just 150 rupees for 1 liter. So now that I'm done adding this, you can even swirl it around the paint or leave it as is. I'm taking help from my husband because I want to add both the cups together. There are many ways of doing that but here since I had help, I just took his help. You turn it this way and then slowly lift it and you can see that already. There's so much texture, so much variation and you can also see tiny cells created. Now you slowly move it around to cover the entire canvas. And remember this thing drips. And remember to wear gloves. Here I'm not wearing gloves because the local pouring medium that I bought was not uh, like Liquitex pouring medium. It didn't really stick to my hands as much and it was very easy to wash off just adding a pop of color at last and also check the edges whatever edges are not covered with the pouring medium or the paint you just add some so it doesn't look very lopsided and also the most important thing to remember when you're doing fluid pouring something I did not do here is check the level of the table or surface that you're working on especially because I liked how this looked when I poured it at this stage I really liked it but then slowly I saw that all the paint moved to the top right corner and that was mainly because my table wasn't balanced I just moved to a new place and I didn't really check the leveling here so I have to fix that for my next painting anyway you can see tiny 
cells appearing now now i'm using a butane torch to make sure i get rid of bubbles any bubbles under it you can also see that uh, cells form because the oil comes in contact with the heat so you can see that effect be very careful when you're doing this you might find a few sparks sometimes well i also recommend doing this after a while uh what i mean is make sure your paint is still not flowing to one side when you're doing this when you're using the blow torch well that's it do experiment with it it you can come up with some really great effects if you have any questions please mention it in the comments below i would really love to hear from you do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so you can find the button on the top left you can also find a link to my blog on the bottom right you can subscribe to my blog posts there have a great day